This video shows how to create a Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL connection in Informatica Cloud Data Integration. First, we'll get the following information from Microsoft Azure. The Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL JDBC connection string from the Azure portal, the owner privileges to connect to Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL and perform read and write operations. Log in to the Azure portal and go to your Azure Synapse SQL account. Make a note of the JDBC URL for Microsoft SQL Server Authentication or Azure Active Directory Authentication. Then, get the owner privilege to connect to Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL. You can also get more granular privileges to perform read and write operations. Now we'll create a Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL connection in Cloud Data Integration. In Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services, go to the My Services page and open the Administrator Services. Click Connections and create a new connection. Name the connection. Select the Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL connection type and then select a runtime environment. Enter the JDBC URL for the Microsoft SQL Server Authentication or the Azure Active Directory Authentication. Enter the username and password for your Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL account. Enter the name of the schema in Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL that contains the tables you want to import. You can select Microsoft ADLS Gen 2 or Microsoft Azure Blob Storage to stage the files before you extract data from or write data to Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL. Let's select ADLS Gen 2. Now select the authentication type to connect to Azure Storage to stage the files. Use Shared Key Authentication to connect to Microsoft Azure Blob Storage or Microsoft ADLS Gen 2 using the account name and account key. To use Service Principal Authentication, you must register an application in the Azure Active Directory, generate a client secret, and then assign the Storage Blob Contributor role to the application in the Azure Portal. Enter the Client ID, Client Secret, and Tenant ID for your application that's registered in the Azure Active Directory. Select the Azure endpoint that you want to connect to. You can enable the VNet rule if you want to connect to a Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL endpoint that resides in a virtual network. Test the connection to validate it, and then save the connection. And that's it. In this video, we showed you how to get account details from Microsoft Azure and create a Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL connection in Cloud Data Integration. You can use the connection to read data from and write data to Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL. For more information, see the Microsoft Azure Synapse SQL Connector Guide on the Informatica Documentation Portal. Visit our communities and support hub, or check out our website.